How to remove fluid from lungs in hospital? If you or a loved one is dealing with the discomfort and difficulty of breathing caused by fluid buildup around the lungs, you're probably wondering how this fluid can be removed. Let's break down the process step by step. The procedure to remove this extra fluid is called thoracentesis. It's a relatively common and effective way to relieve symptoms like shortness of breath and coughing. Here's how it works. First, you'll be seated comfortably, often on the edge of a bed or chair, with your head and arms resting on a table. The area on your chest where the procedure will take place is cleaned thoroughly, and a local anesthetic is injected into the skin to numb it. You might feel a slight stinging sensation from the anesthetic. Next. Using ultrasound to find the best spot, a healthcare provider will insert a hollow needle through the skin and muscles of your chest wall into the pleural space, the area between the lungs and the chest wall. You may be asked to hold your breath or breathe out during this part of the procedure to help the provider get the needle in the right place. Once the needle is in, the fluid will slowly be withdrawn into the needle. If there's a large amount of fluid, tubing might be attached to the needle to help it drain more efficiently. This fluid will collect in a bottle or bag. In some cases, a flexible tube called a catheter might be inserted instead of the needle, and this can stay in place for a day or two to ensure all the fluid is drained. During the procedure, it's important to stay still and avoid coughing, deep breathing, or moving around to prevent any injury to the lung. After enough fluid has been removed, the needle or catheter will be taken out and the area will be bandaged. Sometimes, a chest x-ray will be taken after the procedure to make sure your lungs are okay and to check for any complications. If the fluid buildup is recurring, other procedures like pleurodesis might be recommended. This involves sealing the layers of the pleura together to prevent fluid from building up again. Another option could be the insertion of a long-term catheter that you can use to drain the fluid at home. Medications may also be part of the treatment plan, depending on the cause of the pleural effusion. These could include antibiotics, if there's an infection, steroids or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs for pain and inflammation, diuretics to help your body get rid of excess fluid, and bronchodilators to widen your airways. In some cases, surgery might be necessary, especially if the fluid keeps coming back. This could involve procedures like pleurodesis or pleurectomy, which remove part of the pleura to prevent continued fluid buildup. Overall, thoracentesis is a safe and effective way to remove fluid from around the lungs, helping to improve breathing and reduce discomfort. If you have any concerns or questions, it's always best to discuss them with your healthcare provider.